we promised a little test of intelligence here amongst the three of us. <laughs> I want to knock that out right from the get-go. And There's a reason why you've got a smirk on your face. There's a reason why you're so giddy on getting up, up, up to this point. Th this is something that's going to make mom proud, all right? <laughs> Emery, can you throw up my Wonderlick score? How about that? That's actually impressive, though. I'm I'm a twenty twenty eight, I believe, out of fifty. Yeah. Um, but well, how many did you? How many did you actually get through? I think I got to like thirty six questions, and I was I was just, I knew that the time like twelve minutes is not a good enough amount of time to take that test. It was actually kind of hard. Oh, it, it there was a lot of questions. So okay, I don't know if people are old enough to remember the tax test. In, in the state of Texas, it's just a state-mandated test, and basically yeah. elementary, middle schools, and even high schools basically revolve their entire school year yeah. on, on taking that one test. And my wife's a teacher. I know the, about the importance of it. Right, and so, and so it was – it's it was, the questions are very similar to that. It was like if Johnny had nine oranges and gave eight apples to – Joey, how many grapes would Meredith have? That's what the questions were like, essentially. Yeah, it was it was, it was asking <laughs> us to do hard long division and fractions in our head. Like you can use a calculator, and you got just, what twelve minutes to take it. You got if you use a calculator, that's just time burned. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I'm curious, Emory. He's our he's our college student. He just got done with finals. He's really smart when it comes to taking tests at Baylor University. But how is he at the Wonderlick? Uh, not very good. Not very good. <laughs> As you see, I got a 16. <laughs> Eric Ebron. Hey, he, yeah. was a, he was a first rounder. My saving grace was he went to North Carolina. So, like, okay. If I was, you know, if I had the attributes of Eric Ebron, I could have gotten into North Carolina. There you go. I could have gotten into Purdue. How about that? Hey, Purdue's a very prestigious university. So, I had to take my test. As soon as I walked through the door here, you yeah. guys were setting up the set and I was like, sorry guys, couldn't take the test at work, but I got it as soon as I got here. Were we able to get the graphic up? Do, oh. do we have that? Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. I, okay. I, All right. I, cool. I had to let it be a visual representation yeah. of my intelligence and y'all's stupidity. I mean, look at that. Hey, I got an 18. What'd you get? 17? 16. 16. All right. So I'm two points smarter than a current college student at Baylor university. I'll take that. And we were already, I mean, Eddie Lacey was a pro bowler at one point went to Alabama, and if he didn't have the skill set of being one of the best Alabama running backs of all time, then uh, maybe I maybe I could have stood a chance there. Alabama, not... Mm, I don't know if it's a prestigiously I mean, <laughs> academic how, <laughs> university. I mean, that, that is, the academics is one hurdle that Nick Saban does not have. To <laughs> That's one thing he never really has to worry about, or is the academic side of things. Yeah, he, he doesn't have to worry about the, the guys who are super brainiacs. They just yeah. need to be able to play football and, and get uh, reasonable grades at, uh, at a school that's not necessarily known for being prestigious. Prestige, prestigious. Hey, look at him with the twenty-eight with the twenty-eight <laughs> point Drew Brees score over here. He can't even say prestigious. No, I'm, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have That's to. Big word. I'm gonna have to poke at you any chance I get because I'm not gonna have very many opportunities to do that. But 28, 18, 16.